Good morning to one and all. This is Dr. P. Lavanya, working as Associate Professor in MBA Department in, A in Aeronautical Engineering, Dundiga. Today's our class relating to the definitions and terminologies relates to the third module of managerial economics. So the third module consisting of market structures where it deals with the pricing and output decisions. So we will see what are the different difficult words and also the definitions we can get in this module. So firstly we can see define market. So as we all know what is in a market it means commonly we can say market is a place where the buyers and sellers will meet. So we can say here as it is a place means market is a place or a point of which buyers and sellers negotiate their exchange of well defined products or services means market it's an area or a place or a point where buyers and sellers will make and exchange their well defined products means exchanging their goods and services for some consideration called as market explain about market structures market structures it refers to the characteristics of a market means uh, how a market functions what are the characteristics or what are the basis for functioning of in a market we'll call it as market structures so here the market structure is a characteristic of a market which influences the behavior and performance of the firms that sell in the market means uh, due to these market structures the behavior and performance of a particular or particular product or firms where they are enabled to sell the goods in the market means uh, the characteristics or uh, the features of that market determines the behavior of the producers or the behavior of the pattern of the market called as market structure right write about perfect competition a market structure in which all firms in an industry are price takers and in which there is a freedom of entry into and exist from the industry is called as perfect competition means here a perfect competition is that where it influences the behavior of the place or where there is a lot of freedom that any person can enter into the market sell his goods and if any person doesn't like to sell the goods he can leave the market means perfect freedom of entry and exist for any market we'll call it as the perfect competition what do you know about monopoly so the word monopoly itself is derived as mono means single and poly means seller so with this we can say monopoly is called as one seller or monopoly market exists only when any goods are sold by the one producer or one seller we'll call it as a monopoly so mono means single poly means seller elaborate the meaning of duopoly so here duo means uh, duopoly here duo means two so if there is any market market structure consisting of two sellers then we'll call it as duopoly means uh, the selling two persons any sort of product or services such type of market structure called as duopoly market structure what do you mean by oligopoly so there is in a competition among the few sellers means the market structure consisting of more than two means when few sellers exit in selling any sort of product and services then that type of market structure we'll call it as oligopoly market structure means uh, when existing a competition among the few sellers or the few producers
extend the term monoponzi. Monoponzi means a market condition or structure in which there exists only one buyer. Means many many people produce the goods also. The person who purchases the goods will be only one that we'll call him as monopolistic. Means one buyer consisting of a market structure which he is called as monopolistic is called as monoponzi. So this type of market structure will occur only in imperfect market conditions. Means uh, normal perfect market conditions monoponzi doesn't be available. Only when the ma imperfect market conditions only this monoponzi will be available. What is uh, cost plus pricing? The average cost at a normal capacity of output is asset time and then the conventional margin of profit is added to the cost to arrive at the price. Means uh, cost plus pricing is a uh, common procedure what in a normal marketing structure will adopt. That is uh, the capacity of output asset time and the margin of profit. For example, if the total cost was 10 rupees, then I'll add a margin of profit plus 2 rupees. Then I'll say cost is 10 and plus profit is 2. Then I am getting 12 rupees. So this is a way we call it cost plus pricing. Means we are ascertaining a margin to the total cost in order to have some profit then it is called as cost plus pricing. Discounts about market skimming. The pricing approach in which the producer sets any high introductory price to attract the buyers means when any new type of product which was uh, uh, launch first time in the market then the producer will provide some attractions or uh, at, in order to attract the buyers the producer will uh, introduce very low price why because here we should create a strong desire for the consumers in order to purchase that product so for that purpose so he gradually he will decrease the price such that the reduction of the price will attract the customers and subsequently the product will be positioned in the market. Means in order to uh, position any new type of product at an introductory stage the producer will let give a lower price and earning a rate of profit in order to attract the consumers is called as market skimming. Demonstrate about market penetration. When products are priced so long to start with perhaps to familiarize the product and market pickups and price also rises slowly. Means uh, penetration we can say uh, going deep in, into the market means uh, uh, reaching the deep of the market. So when uh, the producer intention at starting is uh, to make uh, uh, known to a product to be known to the people. So he start with a lower price or lesser price uh, in order to make the product familiar or known to the consumers. And after that, when the consumers was adopted their product and uh, the purchases were goes on, means name and fame and goodwill came to the product. Slowly the producer will increase the price. So which we will call it as market penetration. Next. Illustrate the meaning of privatization. So we know the global economies. Uh, privatization is one of the important economy. So integrating the economy of a country with world's economy with the a view of eliminating supply bottlenecks, improving the investment climate, 
providing wider choice of quality of goods and services to the ultimate consumers means it's a one type of a structure adopted by the economy or any country's economy to remove the supply bottlenecks means when everything was within the government all goods and services are not available or cannot be provided by the government so that's why some sectors are released to the given in the private hands to get in a continuous supply and improve in the investment climate and good quality and service of the product will be provided which ultimately favorable for the or gains a favorable for the consumers illustrate market structure so it is the interconnected characteristics of a market such as number and relative strength of the buyers and seller means already we know market structure means where based upon the factors and the features will come to an a characteristics of an a market but here along with these characteristics some interconnected uh, characteristics makes the strengthening the buyers and sellers and which will uh, provides or evolves the degree of freedom in determining the price level and forms of competition and extent of product differentiation and easy of entry and exit into the market means when any market consisting of the common features or the differentiated features of what are the types of buyers their degree of buyers and sellers freedom price levels competition or what sort of rules and regulations are there for entering into the market and existing into the market and differentiated marketing products will comes under the basic market structure define pure competition a market stimulation pure competition where we can define like a market stimulus situation in which there are large number of sellers of a product which cannot be differentiated and thus no one form has any significant influence on prices means uh, at the situation that is pure competition means uh, at the situation where large number of the buyers and the sellers who will compete in the market which does not have means all products are similar all forms will produce in a similar type of product and no product differentiation or no significant change in the price will be takes place means the products all are similar when they comes into the market that we will call it as pure competition define innovation innovation is a process by which a domain or a product or services renewed and brought up to date applying the new process introducing new techniques or establishing successful ideas to create the new values innovation simply we can say the new things inventing the new ideas or new factors or ideologies so where we can elaborate the innovation like in a domain where a product or services may be new or renewing some additional features are added by applying some process or may be introducing a new type of technical know how or technology such that it will helps to give a successful idea to create the new values means any product when it has been innovatively developed by adding some new features or new advantages which is an a successful idea to create new value means maybe we can increase the economic value of the product then that we'll call it as innovation what is globalization globalization means speed up of movements exchanging of human beings goods and services capital technology or cultural practices over all the planet means uh, globally when we ourselves uh, speed up the investment process and exchanging for goods and services at international level and where 
the capital technology or cultural practices over all the planet means not only in one country one state no uh, boundaries are there when any sort of uh, investment production of goods and services distribution is done over on the planet then it is called as globalization what is globalization competition when companies compete to sell goods and services on an international scale means uh, when goods and services are sold not at in a one country or when it was selling it in a throughout of different countries or throughout the planet then we'll call it as globalization so these uh, a uh, competition done by these uh, companies throughout the globe or throughout the planet uh, may be by utilization of technology transportation communication system uh, improved competition among the companies in different countries have scored means uh, when the competition has been taken place total uh on the earth or maybe globally by different nations then we'll call it as global competition what is a pv ratio so pv ratio means it's a profit volume ratio which we can utilize by attaining what rate of profits for what rate of volume of sales so it could be expressed in the percentage indicates how much sales may be in dollars or the rupees or available to cover fixed cost and to generate the profit means what percentage of the sales are available which here help us to overcome or minimize the cost and also generate the profits what is contribution contribution is nothing but the difference between the sales and variable cost or marginal cost of sales means that is when the sales has been or uh, lessened means sales minus variable cost you are getting the contribution means in the marginal costing when i want to identify the fixed cost is common in the marginal costing as we know the two types of cost fixed and variable cost fixed cost are common to certain level of product so we need not want to consider fixed cost every time so when i want to go for Def, uh, taking any sort of important uh, definitions so we can have these uh, sales minus variable cost you will get the contribution this could be defined as excess of uh, selling price over variable cost we can say that uh, uh, the revenue or selling price is more than its variable cost per unit it is also called as contribution describe fixed cost a fixed cost is a cost that are typically constant means fixed expenses are a part of regular intervals often monthly some fixed expenses are known as periodic expenses also means here fixed cost is nothing but every month or every year will pay a fixed amount regular payments without change in the cost we'll call it as a fixed cost so this we can term it as a periodic cost also define normal profits normal profits in the economic terms profits means excess of money or excess of revenue over cost so here normal profits in the economic terms describes the situation in which company have an abnormal rate means here we can say the situation the company's total cost or equal to the total revenue had no abnormal cost and that means the cost is or equal to the revenue means normally what organization intended of getting a small range of profit that we exercised without having abnormal more profits is called as normal profit here when the firms total sales revenue excludes the or exceeds the total cost of production then they are earning a profits above or beyond the level of normal profits means the profits which we can get a very little range when the company itself is having the total revenue when it exceeds the total cost a small profits will be getting which we will call it as normal 
प्रॉफिट्स एक्सप्लेन किंकी डिमांड कर द किंकी डिमांड कर सजेस्ट द पीरियड ऑफ प्राइस स्टेबिलिटी और प्राइस स्टिकीनेस बिटवीन द राइवल फॉर्म्स सो दिस इज a kinky demand curve was famous in case of oligopoly market on the oligopoly market when few sellers are there so the price stability or price stickiness will be there between the rivalries so these kink in the demand is a geographical representing the price quantity relationship which we can occur in the oligopoly so due to the some change a kink will come or a point where the total sales revenue or the sales will increase so that point will call it as kink and oligopoly consisting of this kinky demand curve is having a stickiness or shows the price stability between the rivalries what type of price structure was in oligopoly so oligopoly as we know it is in a few sellers selling an identical product where they may use predatory pricing to force rivalries out of their market predatory means hunting so when more rivalries or there more people are there it just goes on lowering the price so the companies or the producers who are unable to bear the losses losses they will exist from the market so that type of sending the people means hunting the people to go out of the market structure we'll call it as predatory pricing this means creeping artificially means price artificially low and often below the full cost of production not only decreases very very less than the cost of production so this operates a limit pricing strategy to determine entrants and it is also called as entry for stalling price so the oligopoly which uh, involves in predatory pricing where it doesn't want new people to enter into the market so itself will creates an artificially lower price strategy such that the uh, new entry doesn't takes place in the market so this is famously called as four stalling prices what is the significance of duopoly in the duopoly where we have the two sellers selling an identical product so here the prices sends to the drop dip or below the cost of production thereby wiping out any chances for profit means uh, uh, the significant thing in the duopoly is where sometimes the cost will goes below the cost of production such that any competition is there within the market it will be wipe out uh, having a chance of getting the profits so these are the some of uh, definitions and terminologies where we can identified in the market structure of pricing and output decisions thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates